A leader of the ISIS group known as the Beatles, I don't know why we give cool nicknames to dirtbags, has been sentenced to eight concurrent life sentences in a supermax prison for the kidnapping and killing of U.S. hostages. American journalist James Foley was one of the victims murdered at the hands of El Shafi El Sheikh's terror cell. And yesterday's trial marked eight years since Foley's death. His mother, Diane, joins us now after taking part in the trial. Diane, thank you so much for being here. I, I can't imagine the unimaginable grief you have gone through, now the trial. Do you believe uh, eight years later justice has been served with this life sentence? I do. I think I really am so grateful to the FBI and the Department of Justice, the uh, prosecuting attorneys. They worked eight long years to make this happen. And it's, it serves as a very important deterrence um, and to help protect Americans abroad. It's um, a huge victory for us. Was the death penalty sought? Would you have preferred that? This is a life sentence. No, I think a death, uh, the uh, life sentence is much more difficult, to be honest. Um, these young men will have to spend the rest of their lives thinking about how, what they did and why they've lost their freedom, country, and family. So I think it's a much, much more just um, sentence, to be honest. Uh, you mentioned the rest of their life in jail thinking about it with no freedom, and rightfully so. You actually met with one of your son's captors. I believe his name is Alexandra Aman Cody in April. You met with one of the men who was a part of yes. the killing of your son. What was that interaction like? Um, awkward at times. I met with him actually three times. Hmm. Um, Jim would not have wanted me to be afraid. I think it was very important for me to show, um, tell Alexandra about Jim and to hear from him. Um, you know, even victories like this are hollow victories because we still have 67 um, Americans who are unjustly held abroad. So this continues to be an urgent um, issue to for our government to prioritize the return of Americans held hostage abroad. It's a great point, and you continue to be a voice and an advocate for them. Um, whether it's Cody or El Shaky, the one the one convicted recently, are they repentant? Do they recognize the folly of their ways, or are they still avowed Islamists? Hard to know. I never got to speak with um, El Sheikh at all. He was quite defiant uh, throughout. Um, Alexander, however, um, did plead guilty to all eight counts um, and did express some remorse to me. He did. So I think they're very different individuals, but um, yeah, they still, uh, they're going to um, spend the rest of their lives having to deal with what they've done. Well, Diane Foley, your son was brave. He went knowing the risks uh, and Ultimately, you have fought for justice ever since, and we really appreciate you speaking out, Diane Foley, and for the courage you have to seek justice, and thankfully, uh, it was served in this case. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Appreciate Thank you.